Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has two scriptures to accompany it. The first is Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 10 in the New International Version Bible. It reads, So I will not look on them with pity or spare them, but I will bring down on their heads, on their own heads, what they have done. The next scripture is Jeremiah chapter 50 verses 18 through 20 in the New International Version Bible. It reads, I will punish the king of Babylon and his land as I punished the king of Assyria, but I will bring back to their own pasture and they will graze on Carmel and Bashan. Their appetite will be satisfied on the hills of Ephraim and Gilead in those days. At that time, declares the Lord, search will be made for Israel's guilt, but there will be none. And search for the sins of Judah, but none will be found. For I will forgive the remnant I spare. Now for the message received from the Lord God on February the 1st, 2022. By power and grace you shall be redeemed by the Father. The power of the Holy Spirit of God will indwell you once you've repented of your sins and have dedicated yourself to serving the Lord your God. You will find an inner peace unlike any worldly pleasure the peace of the Comforter will guide you through these storms ahead. Be not afraid, my beloveds, for fear is of the enemy. I have got you in the palm of my hand. Rest assured, your faith in me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will carry you through these storms. Rough waters cannot taint or harm our relationship for it is built on a solid foundation. Rely on me, your Savior, to lead and guide you through these upcoming days ahead, for judgments are about to begin. My people are still asleep, for they know not the hour in which they are living. The hour is late, mere moments to midnight. The clock is ticking down. Each second gone is one second less to save my lost sheep. They are still wandering around in this world. This world is in all capital letters, exclamation point. They know not, not is in all capital letters, the times in which they are living, exclamation point. Wake up, my beloved sheep, for it is now time to come back into the fold, exclamation point. I am the good shepherd, and I take good care of all of my sheep. I go after the one lost one because I love him so, and although he is lost and bewildered, I still love him no less than the others who are fully on fire for me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The lost sheep is in the wilderness with no sense of direction or guidance from the shepherd. I will use my mighty staff to nudge my lost ones back in, unto me, for I know what is best for them. These final days will wake up the lost of the last of the lost sheep who've gone astray. In all capital letters, they will know I am the Lord their God. Exclamation point. I will show them for they need to be shown as Thomas did. Exclamation point. My father's judgment will encompass them round about. They will have no choice, no choice in all capital letters, but to look up, exclamation point, cry out, exclamation point, and fall on bended knee for forgiveness, all in capital letters, exclamation point. I will forgive them, for I am a merciful God, exclamation point. They must, however, be contrite of heart and believe on me wholeheartedly, for I see their beating hearts inside of their chests. I see their rising faith. 
I see their restoration and I see their love for me, exclamation point. They will know I am their God, for it is written in Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 29. Then shall they know that I am the Lord when I have laid the land most desolate because of all their abominations which they have committed. They will soon see me, and once they are ready to believe, they will receive me again, and we shall live together in paradise forevermore. With undying love, God the Father and Jesus the Savior. <clears throat> so another plea from the Lord your God. And he's reaching out to all the lost sheep who've gone astray and do not know what time we are living in, which are the final days, hours, moments, I believe. We are living in the last mere seconds, I believe he says this in here. And he wants you not to be afraid because fear is of the enemy, that he's going to carry you. It says here he's going to carry you through these storms and that the rough waters cannot taint or harm your relationship once you come unto him and back into the fold as a lost sheep. He says, here it is, he says the hour is late, mere moments to midnight, which is very very late that's some of his sheep are still wandering around in the world he wants you to wake up and he says he loves you so and he loves you just as much as the ones are who are on fire for him and that you are going to see the lost sheep are going to see and they will know that the Lord your God is the Lord your God. It says here that they will know I am the Lord their God. He says that you need to be shown the lost sheep just as Thomas did. And he's going to show you by the Lord, the Heavenly Father is going to have judgment fall around about. It says will encompass them around about. And you will cry out and look up. And then you will fall on bended knee. Hopefully it won't be too late. So this is the message for today. This message, I believe he's pouring out his heart to you. He's telling you how much he loves you, even though you're lost. That he wants you to know who he is. I'm sure he feels slighted because if you were, you know, once a, a, if you once had a close connection and now you strayed away and you're living a worldly life, that he probably does feel a little bit slighted. But he still loves you so much and he wants the same love in return. And I don't think that's asking for too much. And he wants to protect you. And he's nudging you with his staff right now to come back unto him because he knows what's best for you. And he's going to be coming back soon. He's going to catch you away in the air. And you're going to live with him. It says here, they will soon see me once they are ready to believe and they will receive me again and we shall live together in paradise forevermore. So what more could you ask for? This world is not going to offer you anything. Pretty soon it's going to be a desolate wasteland. And you need to get on bended knee, realize the times in which you are living, and come back unto the Lord your God, because he is imploring you to do that, because pretty soon the judgments are going to fall, and you're going to wish that you did sooner. So this is the message for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it to everyone that you believe needs to hear it. Uh, put it in your social media out there for everyone to see. And maybe if this, is, if this message is speaking directly to you, you can leave a comment. And maybe that comment 
will get others thinking and come back to the Lord as well. And you can save some of the lost sheep as the Lord your God wants to save. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do pray for all of my viewers and subscribers daily for Jesus' blood protection of your life from any harm from the enemy. And if you have any questions and or prayer requests, please leave them down below. Or excuse me, please send them to my email address, which is listed down below in the description box. And I pray for all of my viewers and subscribers daily. And I hope that everyone wakes up. And may God bless you.